now yes Ahmed, yeah Dahruesh. absolutely passed away the ktn swahili news anchor who's been fighting for with uh diabetes for quite a while but he passed away peacefully on his sofa yesterday in his house mm. this guy this guy could read news and make it sound like a story that's the best thing about this guy I know you're talking from experience because that's how we end up audition KTN Ukangoka, Fred Maina. <laughs> for your information, Maina went there hey. and he failed miserably. <laughs> I was in school. I okay. Anyway, yeah, one day I'll get there. Yeah, you know, Ahmed actually got there. So he he's a kind of a fellow. Alikuwa kisoma news anakwambia hadithi. Na smile yake natural. 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 He, he had no bias mm. he read news he loved his life mm. he loved his religion mm. and he loved his family because he always talked mm. about his family mm. and to his extended family ktn mm. all his fans mm. his family and friends mm. we feel you know it's the most painful thing to you lose a young person mm. that's the most painful thing ever and especially a young person with as much promise and potential mm. like Ahmed had. Mm. It's always so painful mm. losing a young person. Mm. Older people we can celebrate. Mm. Young people whose future is so much ahead of them, that one really hurts deep. If you loved Ahmed and appreciated his work, mm. you shame the pain of his family and friends. And this morning, mm. we say, Ahmed, at least you shared with us the time you did. Mm. We can say just rest in peace. Mm. We're together. Mm. To your family, friends, and everyone at KTN Standard Media Group, mm. 